everybody, it's Shannon. Welcome to another episode of Film Foods where I recreate dishes from your favorite films and TV shows and put it on the internet for your viewing pleasure. On today's episode, I'm going to be recreating the bruschetta or bruschetta from the film Julie and Julia. I made the mistake of seeing this film for the first time on an empty stomach and the bruschetta scene at the beginning of the film still to this day stands out to me as one of the most emblematic examples of food porn. So without further ado, let's get this recipe rolling. Bruschetta is a really delicious and simple Italian dish that relies quite heavily upon the flavors of fresh and in-season tomatoes and basil, which makes it an awesome summer recipe. For it, you are going to need about a pound of tomatoes. I'm using heirloom because that's what looked good at the market I was at. About a fourth a cup of basil, two cloves of garlic, a bit of olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, some salt and pepper, and a fresh French baguette. I'm gonna start off by putting together my veggies. So first things first, I'm going to chop my tomatoes. After that's done, you're going to mince one of your two cloves of garlic. Next, I'm going to chop my fresh basil into strips. Okay, I'm gonna add that. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil, about a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, just a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, and just a little pinch of salt. And then I'm gonna mix that together. And we're gonna set this aside to macerate and sort of marinate while we work on our bread. For my bread, I'm just cutting it into half inch, slightly diagonal slices. And I've always been told to turn the bread on its side because it makes it a little bit easier to get through. Once you've finished cutting your bread, save your ends for croutons or immediate consumption and then drizzle the tops of your bread with just a little bit of olive oil to help them crisp up. And then pop them into an oven set to broil and cook them for about 10 minutes or until they're nice and crispy and golden brown. So my bread just came out of the oven, so I'm going to rub the remaining clove of garlic that I just cut off a little bit of the tip of onto the top of each of the bread crusts. And once you're done with that, you are going to spoon on a little bit of your bruschetta onto each one using a slotted serving spoon. Preferably don't pour most of your tomatoes onto the baking mat. And there you have it, fresh homemade bruschetta that would make even Julia Child herself shed a tear of joy. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you have any dishes from films or TV shows that you'd like me to cover in future episodes, or if you just wanna chat, please comment in the comment section below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram to keep yourself updated on what is happening in the world of film foods and what projects I might be starting in the next couple of weeks. I don't know. And of course, please subscribe for more film food creations. Bon appetit!